So here's the D3 code that renders a bar chart, which depends on this other code up here that's a little bit complicated. But what it's doing is it's saying X is an ordinal scale. Ordinal means like it's a set of discrete things, like bars. Y, so X goes from left to right. Y goes up and down. So Y is a linear scale. That means it's continuous numbers, up and down. And then here it's drawing the X and the Y axis. So it's creating a, an SVG element, appending it to the body. So once it has the data, it extracts the letter from each of the rows, and then it computes the maximum value of the frequencies and uses that as the Y scale. So that's why, that's why, like, so this E is the highest value, and that's, so that's how the Y scale knows that it's the highest value. This call here, D3.max. I mean, I'll need to explain all this stuff in depth in, in another session. But like basically, now that we've fetched the data and parsed it, we can use all these D3 functions like like uh, max to get the maximum value. And then we append a group, an SVG group for the x-axis, and then the same thing for the y-axis, and then we attach some text, the frequency, that appears uh, right here. And then finally, here's the code that makes the bars. So select all dot bar. So this is a selector that selects all elements with the bar class and then binds it to the data, which we parsed from, this, from the TSV file. And then each time a data element appears that has no corresponding uh, DOM element, then it appends a rectangle. It creates a rectangle, gives it the class bar and then it assigns for the x attribute of the bar a function that extracts the the letter value from each row and then calls the x scale with that which transforms it from the space of letters to the space of pixels so that's the x ordinal scale that's this here and then there's y the y attribute gets assigned to a function that extracts the frequency and then uses the y linear scale to convert that from a frequency to a pixel number. And then the height of the bar is the height of the whole page minus the height of the bar, like the y. So y actually, so y goes from top to bottom. So xy is actually this point here on the top, not the bottom. It's on the top. So the function needs to compute this x, y, and then the height additionally. So that's kind of how the data is used in the D3 code. I mean, that was that was a really quick sort of glossing over of all this stuff. But like, I want to explain separately like about scales and everything. But that's just kind of a run through of the whole thing.